Kent, tell us please, uh, when your work becomes overwhelmingly full and busy, how do you stay grounded? It's really full and busy almost every day, so uh, it's, it's a great question. Uh, for me, there's several things. Uh, one is just to have, have a life of, of prayer that continues throughout the day, and, and I don't mean long prayers uh, off by myself, but just short prayers uh, to, to keep me connected to, to God. I, that's important to me, because my, my life is, my, my schedule is really full. Uh, people put things on my calendar to fill up the day, uh, including on weekends. Um, so those short times. And then secondly, uh, my relationship with my wife is, is so important. Um, she's such a strong uh, person that I can lean on and her faith is an uh, important part of her life. And that really, really supports me as, as well. Mm -hmm. um, what have you read in the last five years that made a difference? Oh, it, uh, boy, th this will be a, a name everyone will recognize. Uh, I, I, I used to be in New York City a lot, um, uh, almost every week, uh, because of my work at Cornell. And uh, when if I was there on a weekend, I would go find Tim Keller's church, try to find out where he was preaching at one of the different uh, Redeemer uh, places, uh, the, the sanctuaries that they have all, all around Manhattan. And uh, so I have all of his books, and I'm just a big fan of his, particularly ones that talk about integrating work work with, with, with life. Uh, but uh, I also listen to his podcast as well. He has a new one coming out on The Skeptic and how to talk to the skeptic about God. Oh, I don't know. I'm mm -hmm. going to have to uh, order it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell us about the friendships in your life Oh, and how they are important to you. You know, I was sharing over our lunch hour about uh, my college roommates. Uh, these are individuals that had a profound influence in me, my life, when I was in college. Uh, they're, they're people that I don't keep in touch with every week, but they're people I think about a lot, and then we periodically reconnect and, and see the ways that God is, God is blessing uh, each one of us. Uh, each of us came to faith in kind of a different way, and, uh, and those are important. I also have, uh, actually in Gainesville, there's a, a number of pastors uh, that have adopted me and pray for me and uh, will send me a text and we'll go out to lunch periodically. That, that's important to me as, as well. Uh, it's not a, a time that we have structured, but we just kind of spontaneously, if, if we're free uh, for a lunch hour, which is usually the time that one of us is free, uh, we get together periodically. And there are about a set of three of them 